Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hello. I'm Laura. And I'm Anni. And today we're going to find out how much weight can you lift with just one drop of glue. Okay, our glue is pretty thick, so the drop is also quite large, but still just one drop. Yeah, and this video is sponsored by Sika Finland. Yep, so we have glued two pieces of plywood with Sika Flex Extreme Crab 118 glue. And we treated the plywood with Sika Primer 3N. So this is like to get the materials ready for the glue. And it's extremely good, especially if you have like a bit older materials, like they have been outside or something. Mm -hmm. Yep, so with these two, you should get really good connection for the plywood. And I think the plywood is the weakest point here. Yeah, the hardest part has been to get the plywood last. And I have made pretty serious <laughs> attachment things, so the plywood doesn't tear off from the grain and the sensor. But let's go have a look how we glued everything together. And then we come back for the actual test. Yes, so we're going to use Sika glue. And to be able to pick the right glue and to use it right, we have Sika guidebook. And this is really handy if you are not familiar with the Sika products or with the gluing process. So let's see how this goes. First, there is some instruction how long it takes to dry and how you should support the glue while it's drying and how to use primers. And then here is chart for different materials and to which primer to use. And we are going to use plywood, so it's here, and it says that we have to use Sika primer 3N. And then the glue. So here are the, all the different glues and short descriptions, what they are for. And there is also faster method on end of the thing, where is like typical use cases, and then there is which glue is the best for those. And after you have chosen the products that you're going to use, there is good instruction how to spread the glue, from how to hold the glue gun to pattern that you should use on which use case. And always remember to read safety instructions from the products that you use, in case you need to use some kind of personal protection and stuff like that. Yes, but our one drop of glue is really simple to add. It's there and now it takes just a couple days to get maximum strength for that drop of glue. Yeah, and as you saw, the gluing part was really simple, especially with the guidebook. And now the rest of the setup, we are going to lift weightlifting bar. And I have now 100 kilos there, but we can fit much more. And then I have some lifting straps and then the plywood and everything related to them. And then we have 10 ton sensor, so I can measure how much force we are applying to the glue at all times. And then rest of the thing is just five ton grain. And I think it's time to make some estimations of the glue. So you saw just one big drop. Of course, maybe slightly like spread it when I push it, the plywoods together. And my estimation, uh, what is on your estimation? 200 kilos. 200, so I'm going to say just 150 because it's just one drop of glue. And it's also a pretty small area of plywood, but let's see. We are going to first do warm-up set with 100 kilos on the bar. Yes, so first test, 100 kilos. I'm pretty sure that it's going to lift this, but let's see. Ta-da! Yes, so 160 kilos. And here we go. 80. 100. I think Anni, you are going to win this. Yes, so 200. Yeah. 
Yeah, easy. Yeah, and it lifts that also. So this is starting to close like do you even lift territory? <laughs> we have 290 here and I think this would need me and Anni both to lift this. And there is still room for the clamp, just barely. And I starting to believe that we can lift also this and if, if it happens we have to find some heavier stuff. Yeah, but let's try. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, I think our plan to use weightlifting bar failed and we have to get some heavier stuff, but I think we can find something. And as you see, the whole bar, if, a bar is flexing and that is like IPF competition bar, so it's really like really rigid bar. Yeah, but uh, let's find something heavier. Yes, and this way we use weightlifting bar because this weighs 900 kilos and it doesn't look like anything. So it isn't like, doesn't look so interesting with this, but I am pretty sure that we cannot lift this. So I'm going to apply the force really slowly and we can see on the scale how much weight that can take before it breaks. Yes, so now it's going to break. And here we go. Come on. <laughs> that was pretty much. I think we have to check on the camera, but I think it was like 600 kilos. So twice as much as we can fit on the weightlifting bar. And actually, come check this. The glue is just fine. It's under there. And we rip this plywood, piece of plywood off from, from here. So, It's some serious glue. I think we have to try sometimes this with steel. I'm not sure will it crap on, on steel so much, but steel wouldn't do this. Yes, and then for comparison, one screw. So it's like one drop of glue, one screw. And here we go. I think that was around 400, so pretty good. And as you can see, it was as long screw as we could fit inside of the plywood. And it also ripped the plywood and didn't break the screw, of course, it's steel. Yeah, so one drop of glue beat one screw on thick plywood. And I have to say that I'm surprised how well the glue did. Mm -hmm. I was pretty confident that the weightlifting bar is going to be enough, yeah. but not even close. Yeah. I think even if we had like thin competition plates, 25 kilos, the red ones, we couldn't fit this much on the weightlifting yeah. bar. So yeah, really big surprise. 
and if you are planning to mount something on your wall or do something like this with the screws, I would say that the glue is good option and with the Sika Finland guidebook it's really easy to pick the right products and there is also clear instructions how you should use the products. Mm -hmm. So with the guidebook you can't fail. Yeah, and I leave link to more information about clues and where to get them. But yeah, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day. Ah!